Yo, Dre. What's up? Give me a funky ass bass line. We're sitting here today to check out old Jerry right here doing it big out here in the SD streets. You know we're doing it big now. Now, Jerry, it is wonderful to have you here, and we want to talk about this, bro. How have you been? I've been great, man. In the last 13 or 14 months, I put everything else aside and decided once and for all I was going to write this book. I was going to give Easy e the rightful place that he's been denied in the aristocracy and hierarchy of, of rap, uh, the rap business, and maybe rehabilitate my reputation a little from all the boys <laughs> that guys like, uh, like uh, Ice Cube and uh, Dr. Dre have spewed out about uh, Easy and myself. I see, I see. So I uh, Pretty much some pretty big names there. Well, it's it's a I'll tell you it's a fabulous book, and lots of people have told me it's the best book they've ever read, and I'm real proud of it, and that's why I'm out doing really good kind of shows like yours. Now, going back to your book here, going back to your book, tell me, tell me, what is it that actually motivated you to say, hey, I'm going to write this book, and what did you expect from it? Well. For years, and you'll find that out a little later in the show, I'm a, I'm a good storyteller, and I, and I love to tell stories, love and, and I have five decades in the music business, starting off with, with of course, with rock and roll, mm. and coming up through gangster rap. But I walked into a Borders bookstore one, one day, and I saw on the front table a book called Can't Stop, Won't Stop, which is the story of, of hip hop by a guy named Jeff Chang, a young guy from San Francisco. Okay. I picked up the book, I read it, and I said, wow, that's the first time I've ever seen a music book on the front table of a Borders or a Barnes & Noble or someplace like that. Usually they're way back in the store, <laughs> you know, the in the right, you know, <laughs> right at the corner, R&B and rap. I heard that. So, uh, <laughs> Next to gospel. Or something. Yeah, so I said, well, maybe now is the time for me to, to do this. And like I say, established Easy's legacy rehabilitate my own reputation because look all people have heard is one side of it no vaseline and dre day and uh you know the spider-man and there are people i don't even i've never even met like uh, nelly yeah. writing songs about me so uh I like you know that you're really doing something man. <laughs> well i don't know i sort of resent it a little because you know dre and cube whether they're right or wrong. You know, I was in business with those guys and I did manage them, so at least they have some knowledge and they've met me. These other guys, they're just trying to sell records. Okay, now, you are out here promoting this book. You gotta be doing some signings. Where are you signing at? Well, I'm gonna be signing November 2nd at Borders in Mission Valley at 7 p.m. I will sign every book. I will take every tape that my wife and I listen to everyone. We always bring a shopping bag to take the tapes back with us. And you'll see my friend Elo, he will be there. I will be with there. With Jerry Heller. My friend Little Una will be there. We'll be there. My friend Jaskeen will be there. We'll be there. All of my friends will be there at, at Borders in Mission Valley, 7 o'clock. For as long as you keep me there, I'll be there. In one way or the other, I'm a bad brother. Word to the mother. Six in the morning.